Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to share your feelings without scaring a man away. Okay, uh, real quickly, before we begin, if you would like some advice about a man in particular, in other words, if there's a guy you're dating or you're starting the process of dating and you want some male perspective, then click the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one chat with me to see if working with a coach is right for you in this circumstance. Okay, how to share your feelings without scaring a man away. You know what's fascinating as being a dating and relationship coach is oftentimes I'm talking to clients and their greatest fear is centered around expressing their feelings because they're afraid that might scare a guy away. In other words, all too often, I think there's this, this expectation that if you open up and share your feelings and the guy isn't receptive to it, that he's gonna run away, he's gonna ghost, he's gonna disappear, he's gonna wanna break up with you. And I can tell you that's got, or I've gotta suspect, you tell me if I'm wrong, is that's a really uncomfortable way to be in relationship. I mean, to feel like the ground underneath you isn't solid if all you do is share your feelings, to share how you feel about something, um, just even how you, you know, where's this relationship going, if you're into me, I mean, all these things, it's gotta be a really uncomfortable way to be in relationship. So I'm here to say right off the bat, Share your feelings, okay? Share your feelings. In fact, uh, one of the chapters in my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Chapter one is speak your truth, do it with kindness. Speak your truth, do it with kindness. Now, your truth is your feelings. Your truth is how you feel about something. It's not the truth, it's just your truth. And your feelings are your truth because your feelings can't be argued. Let me repeat that. Your feelings can't be argued. So I want to share with you how to do that in a way that lands so it can be seen, heard, and understood by the guy you're dating because oftentimes the real challenge with communicating your feelings that it oftentimes might come across confrontational. It might come out across as being a confrontation and not an expression of what you're feeling, okay? So um, I did a talk once said we need, or I did a, a workshop called We Need to Talk and how to bring up the touchy subjects. And one of the premises was, is from the beginning, think of this, if you're gonna share your feelings about something with respect to the relationship, then I want you to think conversation, not confrontation. Let me repeat that. I want you to think conversation, not confrontation. Okay, because that's where a lot of the times it creates a challenge in relationship. And let me just share this with you, going back to expressing your feelings. If you're sincere and from the heart, in other words, if you're sharing sincerely and from the heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right guy. Let me repeat that, because that's a big one. If it's sincere and from the heart, you can never really say the wrong thing to the right guy. Now. If it's coming from fear or it's coming from ego, you can actually definitely turn a man off. But let me tell you this. If you are in relationship with an emotionally healthy man, in other words, he basically has fair amount of emotional IQ, then your chances are that even if you fumble with sharing your feelings, which I'm gonna teach you in a moment, even if you fumble this a little bit, it's gonna be okay because you're, that man you're with is gonna to wanna to lean in instead of lean back. In other words, he isn't gonna run away from your feelings, but I do wanna encourage you to begin to shift how you communicate your feelings in this particular way. So if you're not familiar with the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg, isn't it interesting, the title is Nonviolent. In other words, confrontational communication. By the way, his book should have been called Compassionate Communication. I highly recommend you getting it because the premise is this. If you're feeling something, then actually describe what you're feeling. I feel sad. I feel afraid. I feel lonely. I feel agitated. I feel frustrated. I feel happy. Express what it is you're feeling 
instead of what you think about what's going on, okay? So instead of like, you know, the idea of where is this relationship is going as an example, okay? You're, because there's a, now, what you're really saying is, look, I'm feeling a little uncertain about the status of our relationship and I'd like to get some clarity. I'm feeling uncertainty. That's the feeling, uncertainty. And I'd like to get some clarity so I know that we're both on the same page. Can you see how that was a lot more, you know, calming than, where's this relationship going? <laughs> I'm sorry for that dramatic effect. But it's about expressing your feelings. And let me also give you another tip in a second on how to begin these conversations because framing makes all the difference. And I learned this a long time ago from Dr. Sherry Myers, but she calls it the Oreo cookie. Now, some people call it the ham sandwich, but when you're gonna express something to your partner, start with something positive. The idea is the chocolate, the filling, and the chocolate at the end, okay, the Oreo cookie. Start with something sweet, start with something positive, start with gratitude about this person you're in relationship with. That's a good place to start, of gratitude, appreciation. Then share the, what you want to share in the middle, and then end with some gratitude as well. That's a great way to frame a conversation. So if your boyfriend is named Tom, Tom, I just want to share how grateful I'm in relationship with you. And I need to express that I'm feeling a bit anxious about where our relationship is going. And I'd like to get your input. I'd like to get your perspective on how you feel this relationship is going, because I'd like to have a delicious, juicy relationship with you that's long term. Do you see, I started with something sweet gave the filling, and then ended with something sweet again. And that's a better way to have a conversation. When, it come, when you can begin to express your actual feelings, not from a place of telling someone what's going on or telling them what you want them to do in a confrontational way, but coming from a compassionate, loving way. Because as I said before, if it's sincere and from the heart, you can really never say the wrong thing to the right person. Ah, okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you like it, hit like. Also hit my subscribe button if you like my content and please tell your friends about it. And also, hey, I've got a copy of my book right there that you can get access to. I've got a great group called Midlife Love Mastery for those that want some real great advice at an inexpensive cost. And then again, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me right there as well. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.